Oh, I love my Frank Zappa. Uh, except for Winston's, uh, he didn't use any any drugs, and uh, everybody thought that he had to be a druggie because he was just so weird. But he was weirder <laughs> than all the rest of us, straight as an arrow. And the Winstons ended up killed him. Um, and he was a, he was he, that was the most afraid I ever was of anybody before his first show. I just knew I was gonna I was gonna catch a lot of flack. But uh, we got along great. And, he was really impressed with how professional all our people were that worked his, his uh, show. And I introduced him to Blind George McLean. There's a picture of Blind George somewhere in his collection of stuff around here. But uh, Blind George was as blind as anybody I've, I've never seen. He, uh, uh, he was the opening act for Zappa. And, uh, and I thought, uh, I'll show Zappa some weird because Blad George was not only blind, he was almost deaf and he was crippled. And he, he, he stomped on a board uh, with both feet to make a, a, a bottom for his piano playing. And uh, uh, he had a crippled arm, so he played kind of backhanded with his left hand. God bless him. I saw him come off the stage one night at the split rail and somebody asked him, uh, or somebody said, uh, George, you really sounded great tonight. And he said, I don't care how I sound, how do I look? <laughs> he, uh, he was the guy that I opened the Zappa show for. And so I told Zappa after his sound check, which left him really angry because he was, his equipment was late and he didn't get the full sound check that he had hoped a rehearsal is what he wanted. But he only got 17 minutes to, to get ready, and then they had to open the doors, and the hippies came thundering in. We had sold it. first time we ever did two shows in one night, and the 7:30 opening uh, filled up just in, in seconds after we opened the door. And I, and I told Zappa that he might want to take his mind off how mad he was by meeting uh, his opening act. He's uh, blind, deaf, and crippled. <laughs> so he wanted to meet his opening act right then. And I went upstairs and tried to remind him as we approached George to speak up because he was hard of hearing, but he just mumbled, I'm Frank Zappa. He was so, George was hard to look at. He didn't just have a lack of eyes. He had big holes in his head, he went way back in. And uh, Frank said, hello George, and George hollered, huh? George, did you hear our sound check? George said, yeah, you were too fucking loud. <laughs> uh, and so it was, uh, it was kind of my, my greatest moment in rock and roll was to, was to get one up on Frank Zappa. I didn't do it, of course, blind George McLean did, but Zappa was impressed. I got to give it to Frank. He went out into the audience that was just a crushed crowd and watched George's entire set. And then after the the show was over, I asked George to go on the road with him on the bus to do the rest of the the tour opening for him. And uh, I'm sure it still led to heartbreak. There was, you know, George might get a record deal kind of thing went around, but he, it didn't work out. Anyhow, it was, uh, I'm sure, the highlight of George's uh, existence during that period of time. Certainly was a great kick in the ass for me.